Hey guys, so I know you guys, you love program benchmarks, but I know one thing that you love more, and that is gaming benchmarks. So let's have a look at two Call of Duty games. Let's have a look at Modern Warfare 2 benchmarks and Black Ops benchmarks. So uh, I'm going to focus mostly on Radeon HD 6990 and the GTX 590 because it's dual GPU cars, you know, it's, it's cool, it's epic, it's awesome. So the program that they were using uh, to record was Fraps and they used maxed maxed out with everything they recorded in the first 60 seconds to get out the scores so the in the first game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 we have DirectX 9 max quality 4 times uh, 4 times AA and 0 times AF and we can see that in the top here we can see that we have the 6990 before the GTX 590 and we can see that it's like 7% faster uh, and we can see that uh, and it's one thing with the HD 6990 it seems to range from a pretty you know like FPS it range from 71 to 144 it sounds like it's a little like unstable I'm not sure but sometimes it seems like be extremely high and sometimes extremely low and if we compare that to the GTX 590 it seems to only range around 40 FPS and this bad boy it range around how many FPS is that? like 70 FPS I know it's kind of like insane I don't like that it seems to be a little unstable comparing to the GTX 590 but we can see that the GTX 590 it's a little slower at the resolution 1920 times 1200 and then we have Modern Warfare 2 as well with a little higher resolution instead of 1920 times 1200 we have 2560 times 1600 we can also again see that 6970 obviously it's in the top but that is because it's using crossfire and crossfire it's badass I mean if they would use uh, GTX 580 Slee configuration it would probably also be like here in the top better than the 6970. So again we can see the 6990 it is a little better than the little the little buddy boy GTX 59 590 but it's it's behind there in the ass of the 6990 and again we can see that the FPS it range from around like 50 FPS like from 47 at the lowest point to 101 at the highest and I'm not quite sure if I like that because if we compare here we can only see that it range around 30 FPS and not like 50, 60, 70 FPS sounds like yeah it's insane but yeah a little little slower uh, once again yeah and yeah so that, that's kind of sad 7% slower than Radeon H6990 so not that extremely slower and also we can see that it's around it ranged around 40 to 60% uh, yeah, better performance uh, than the GTX 580 so you will get a lot better performance if you would use GTX 580 Slee then you get like 100% oh, yeah kind of like that then we have the game Call of Duty Black Ops and they did the same test they recorded with Fraps they used the first uh, they used the Black Ops single play mode they recorded in 60 seconds they used the first level the Operation 40 so finally here we can see that the GeForce GTX 590 it takes the lead finally it seems to be better and faster than the 6970 Crossfire and the Gigabyte Radeon HD 6990 the things that they used here was DirectX 9 max quality 4 times AA and 16 times AF and the FPS is ranged from 163 FPS to 104 FPS pretty high you know over 100 and then we can see that yeah the 6990 it's slower slower yay finally we can see that the lowest point is kind of the same on all of these three uh, a little high a little above the 100 fps mark and i mean 100 fps mark it's 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 <laughs> a lot of fps and obviously use the resolution 1920 times uh, or yeah times 1200 and then we have in the high resolution 2560 times 1600 and one is again we can see that the GTX 590 is above the HD 6990 so it seems like the GTX and this new NVIDIA GTX 590 at least the gigabyte version seems to enjoy the 
Call of Duty Black Ops more than Modern Warfare 2. It could be because it's a newer game and they use more AF. Uh, in Modern Warfare, they didn't use any AF, so uh, I think the, the GTX 590 could be better at details or something like that. And we can see that 6970 Crossfire takes the lead, but you can see that it's only like one FPS behind, so yeah. And then we can see that 6990 is a little behind the GTX 590, but it's fun because they're competing there, they're kind of the same car, and they cost the same, so very cool. Very, 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 very cool. And once again, we can see that the GeForce GTX it is around 4% faster than the HD6990. So that is kind of good. And also at, at this last test in the Black Ops, it was around 42% faster than the GeForce GTX 580. Uh, so that's good. Still, GTX 580 is better, but it's still kind of cool. You know, we all love Call of Duty. Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. So if you enjoy those games, you know, tell me what you think. Should you go for the Radiant HD 6990 or should you go for the new and fresh NVIDIA GTX 590? Yeah, good question there. See you.